Hi guys, and this is the next episode uh, of uh, Love 2D Tutorial. Um, next, what, we're going to go over this new function here. This is check collision. So this isn't a function that's pre-built. Because unfortunately, uh, Love 2D doesn't have built-in collision detection. So we're going to have to add that. So this function is going to be called check collision. And, we, and it's going to take as parameters 8. It's going to take 8 parameters. So AX1 is the the first rectangle or whatever's X position. AY1 will be the 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 Y position of that object, the width, the height of that first object, and then B is the exactly the same, only with the second object. Now these AX2 is I suppose you could think of it as the right cor the right corner or the, the bottom right corner. So what this is uh, doing is getting is returning all of those positions that we just don't know. So AX2 is AX1 plus AW. So it's the right top right corner of our square. And BX2 and BY2, uh, I mean, sorry, AY2 is AY and AH. So it's the Y and it's getting the bottom left corner adding the width, the height, I'm sorry, to the y. And then the same with the b. And this will return uh, whatever, uh, depend, uh, if uh, bx is, uh, bx2 is greater than ax1, it will return and so forth and so forth. So this will return true if there is a collision and return false if there isn't. So what we can do is, well, we're going to need to make a block. So we're going to change the. Oh god! So we're going to go on love dot graphics dot um, set color, and we're going to make a bluey color. So. One comma two five five comma sixty seven. So this will give us. I think it'll be blue or it'll be green. No one knows. Not me. So love to love dot. Now what we can do is a rectangle. Uh, Fill, so fill rectangle, and it's going to be going from position hmm, 450 being its x. No, not, no, what, what am I thinking? So the x will be at uh, 30. One fifty. No, the Y is 150. Yes. All that? No. So, 150 being the Y, and then across it will be 200. And then the X will be 30, and the Y, I um, mean the width will be 30, and the height will be 30. So, in our update, we're going to say if um, check. Collision. If we check collision with PX, okay, PY, 30, 30, so the player's size and the player's position. And for the uh, B, we're going to do um, yeah, so it'll be 200 by 150 by 30 by 30 because that's our new solid block item so let's just it oh god error uh, oh silly me I forgot then and what it will do for that matter Um, uh, 
I think what I'll do is... Hmm, what should I do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when you uh, collide it will... Um, make px equals px minus 5. So just jumping back. Minus 1. Just so it doesn't jump too fast. So, okay, that's better. Now let's try it. Oh. Incorrect parameter. Let's just use the data. Um. What? Let's use the data. Okay, use the data. One sec. After some confusion, I found out that I forgot to write graphics. Dot graphics, I just put dot rectangle. What? And hopefully now it should work. Oops. Oh, what? What did I do? Um. Try that again. Thirteen. Now this is the bit of program you don't often see. Boring old troubleshooting. Trying to get things to work. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Inexplicably. Uh, love.graphics.new image over here has dis was disappeared so after a little bit of troubleshooting it's back so let's try it this time third time lucky oh. Oh. girl What is it now? After realizing how much of an idiot I am, I forgot to say player equals. So, I also, uh, under check collision, made it 180 and made the position 180. Because I realized that it just wouldn't hit it. So, Come on, what is it this time? I've got to this. Fifth time lucky. Fifth time lucky. Hopefully it is lucky. Good. See, I'm, I'm pressing left, and I can't walk into it. So it's a wall, basically. Because you don't want people just going outside like that. So, let's build a fortress around our player so he doesn't just walk off I'll be back once I've made a fortress around the player hello again and I haven't made many changes I just uh, copied this function and I changed the position so it drew from the uh, the top of the screen and this is the, mm, that's not white <laughs> that should be to 10. Did it? No, it was right. Of course I'm right. So, that's basically what that's doing is drawing from the top of the screen, the top of the, and at the X coordinate that it needs, and then just drawing 200 down, so like a big wall. And then I'm just adding another collision, but this time, because it's going to be moving from the right, it's going to be adding one 
So basically what white's adding and minus in one is that every time it moves to the left into a wall, it just comes back out again at the same time, just afterwards. It was like, but you, you don't see the shaking, so that's good. Let's try it out. What, uh, how ugly, how very ugly. How very unworking as well. I made it, hmm, how clever. Um, it should, I should just make it 240, go all the way to the base. What you could alternatively do is just add one variable for each thing. It may use up quite a few uh, variable names, but at least you don't have to write up and copy the number. You can just change one number and it'll change both. So let's go back onto here. Drag the lovely player. Log you deep here, there's better. So now we just we just can't walk outside of these boundaries. I'll also add a little floor just for the look. And then we can actually start making the game of the game. You could call. Uh, what's it? Okay. And this will go from zero x and then the y. I don't know. It wouldn't go from zero. Let's go from. 30x. I can't let me think. Why? What could the Y be? Um, y can go from. Where's the player? So it should just be the player plus. So PX, it, it starts at. No, PY, sorry. At 200. So the PY is at 200. Uh, so, plus the width, the 230, so this should go from 231, that should be our width, so, actually just 230 should be fine, and then, so, then it'll have uh, X of this screen, so, I mean width, so, and our height of not a height button. Uh, um, not, no, it wouldn't actually. It'd have. <sighs> yeah, it'll be fine. If it goes off the screen, it doesn't really make a difference. You just can't drop the screen, obviously. Because we'll just have something coming out of your computer screen, which would be very helpful. Um, so 320, and the, the what the height would be 10. To get to the end of the screen. So now move that over. Now we have a nice little floor. Oh, be it the points are blurred out, should we say? But it's working. It's working. A lovely days, uh, dandelion is walking and it cannot get out of the boundaries. So this is all for this episode on collision. And thanks for watching and goodbye.